I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 creative uses for a lonely orphan sock. Those poor, poor socks. Having their twins always eaten by the washer and dryer. That really sucks. Twenty-five. If you've lost the cover to your small umbrella, no problem. You've probably lost one of the socks in a pair too, so just put the abandoned sock over a rolled up wet umbrella to keep it from dripping in your car or bag. 24. To make your own cheap wristband to mop up sweat in the gym, just cut off the cuff of a sock and slip it over your wrist. 23. If you're used to hiking in hot climates, cover your frozen water bottle with a sock to keep it colder for longer. 22. If your car windows frequently fog up, put some kitty litter in a sock, tie it closed, and put it next to your front or rear window when it gets cold. The litter will help absorb the moisture before it even accumulates on your windows. 21. Putting jewelry in a single sock when you travel can help keep it in one place and give it some protection. The bonus is would-be thieves probably won't go looking through your socks for valuables. 20. If you don't have a heating pad, you can put regular, non-instant, rice or dried beans in a sock and tie it shut before microwaving it for a minute. The result is a reusable heating pad for aching, sore muscles. 19. An orphan sock works great in the kitchen, especially to slip over a pan handle to keep you from getting burnt. The sock also keeps the handle from getting sticky. Just wash it occasionally. 18. To keep the shape of boots and other tall shoes, fill two long socks with rolled up newspapers or balled up paper and stick them in the necks of the shoes. 17. If you're moving a heavy piece of furniture, put a sock on its feet to prevent scratching your floor. 16. To keep dress shoes from scuffing in your luggage, put each shoe in a stretched out old sock. 15. An old sock works as a convenient and protective sunglass case. 14. Though you're not likely to see this on the PGA Tour, you can use an isolated sock to cover up golf clubs. You can even store golf balls in other solo socks. 13. If your shoes are suffering from nasty odors that can kill a bug in its tracks, Fill spare socks with baking soda or dry coffee grounds and put them in said shoes overnight to deodorize. 12. If you love your Swiffer but are tired of constantly buying new covers, grab an old sock and stretch it over the bottom. When it's all dusty and dirty, just wash it out in the sink or throw it in with your next load of laundry. 11. To prevent carpal tunnel syndrome and protect your wrists while typing, Fill a sock with any type of soft filling and sew it shut, providing a resting pad for your weary wrists. 10. If you don't want to spend money on fabric softener, but you still want your clothes to have that feeling, tie a few tennis balls in a few different socks and throw them in with your next dryer load. 9. Make your own hacky sack by filling a single sock with rice, lentils, or sand and sew it into a ball shape. 8. People in cold climates know what a hassle it is when windshield wipers freeze and stick to the glass. Stop this from happening by putting a sock on each wiper after parking. 7. Tailgating fans will love this one. Random socks can double as koozies or flask protectors. Wool socks work great to keep beer especially cold. 6. If you have a baby, Cut a hole in the toe section of your socks and slip the socks over their knees to protect them in early days of crawling. Okay, can you crawl? No, no. you're not going to. Five. If you have dry, crusty hands or feet but don't want your sheets to be swimming in lotion, moisturize the areas before bed and cover them with loose socks. Four. It's nearly impossible to keep a baby from scratching at insect bites or chicken pox. To protect an infant, slip a sock over each little hand to keep them from scratching themselves raw. 3. Make your own deodorizing sack to keep clothes and drawers smelling fresh by putting dried herbs or potpourri in an old sock. The same can be done with mothballs to keep the pesky critters at bay. 2. To prevent an ice pack from sticking to your skin, slip the ice or cold pack in a sock and apply it to the affected area. 
one. If you use a plain soap bar in the shower, chances are you drop the soap pretty often. Put that bar of soap into a single sock, seal it with a large rubber band, and voila! You have a non-slippery, lather-producing case. Do you have a favorite pair of socks? Tweet them at us at list25. Tristan, come show your favorite pair of socks. Oh. What are they? Hi. Uh, I have this uh, Darth Vader pair of socks, and that's pretty cool. Uh, and the other one is, uh, it has bears on it. Uh, do you want to, you want to ask me why? Why does it have bears on it, Tristan? Uh, it's so I can walk around all day in my bare feet. That's a Tristan original pun. He did not give that to me. Oh, bye. Bye. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.